wanted to uh, talk a little bit about this question of forecasting 35 years from now. Right, can, can you, what, what are the issues associated with that and what, what, uh, what do we have to do? And I, and, I, and I don't have an answer except I can say it's probably easier to forecast 100 years ahead in climate than it is to forecast 35 years ahead in climate. And uh, so we, we, we wind up, run up against this very uh, complex and kind of a wonderful problem, very, uh, a, a subject that impacts us all, climate change. And, uh, and we know the basic science is very strong, we really understand that well. Uh, and, and yet when we, when we try to predict, we find that there's a, a lot of uncertainty what we have. In that, we have to really understand what the drivers are, uh, how the drivers are changing, and we have to understand something about this complex, turbulent, nonlinear system, the ocean, atmosphere, ice coupled system, which is not so easy. So here's a, here's a forecast. We're going to get a, a warmer world, and it, it's going to be, tends to be wetter. Uh, and, uh, and you can see that there's a, there's a uh, in the top there, there's an emphasis on the uh, enhancement in the, in the Arctic. And the next slide shows a, a picture of the uh, precipitation. Lots of dry areas, and the dry areas around uh, just north and south of the equator are, are going to increase, that once again, based on very, very good physics. And I think one, anyone who knows about the, the conflicts or the issues having to do with tropical countries can see a big, uh, big problem there. So, so one of the one of the really big questions, and I and I think we'll have discussion of this here in the meeting, is what will the drivers look like? In other words, how fast will renewables actually come in so that the cost of renewables is less than the cost of uh, other energy? When that happens, there's going to be a huge impact. Uh, but the question is, you know when and how. What if China reduces its use of dirty coal? What if we have massive land restoration? These are the things that we have to factor in to the climate models, it's not just the physics of the models, but it's these other pieces.